Do you know 28% of all landing queue users uses Facebook ads to drive off Amazon traffic? And Facebook advertising, the like Facebook campaigns within landing queue are amongst the longest running ones on landing queue. That just tells you the durability of Facebook ads for Amazon sellers. And as you know, what separates the hyper successful Amazon seller and the rest is that they leverage off Amazon uh, traffic and also use it to build their own audience. In this video, we will show you how you could actually properly set up an off Amazon funnel using Facebook ads, landing queue, and Amazon attribution. The end result of this funnel is that you will not only get a sale from this off Amazon traffic, but you will also get an email and also the brand referral bonus set up from Amazon. So if you wanna see how this is all done, I suggest you to stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the face of landing queue. And if you are interested in content such as this, where we geek out on Amazon, I suggest you to subscribe. Okay, so to start, um, this is the following account that you would need for this setup. Uh, number one, uh, that would be the Amazon attribution account. That is the attribution account that comes with your uh, Amazon advertising account. So it's assumed that you have that account already. Landing queue sponsor of this video. Uh, landing queue is a landing page software uh, for Amazon sellers. Three, your Facebook advertising accounts. Uh, it's assumed that you already have like a Google uh, a Facebook ad account. And uh, lastly, this is optional. You would um, also have uh, likely have like an email marketing software uh, because landing queue will collect the email and you could use your marketing email marketing software to push them to another uh, sales funnel. But, uh, you know, we will not talk about that setup, but we will show you how Lending Cube would collect the email and allow you to actually connect to your email marketing software. Okay, so let's start, uh, number one, uh, by creating your Amazon attribution link. So remember, this is like, we're trying to like say, uh, set up uh, Facebook ads with your Amazon attribution. And if you actually set this up properly, you will also get like the brand referral bonus. So basically it tracks um, any sales that you made off of Amazon traffic and on Amazon, if you actually make the sale, you actually receive a bonus, which is around 10% of the sales price. Nothing to sneeze at at all. So uh, let's see how this is set up. You can actually go to Central Central. I'll go to right here, brands, and then under brand referral bonus, this is like where the screen locates. You, you can click on generate referral tags, which basically will take you to the Amazon attribution screen right here. So you're gonna go to, go to like this icon right here, measurement reporting, Amazon attribution. You are gonna create a new campaign. Every single channel uh, that you use uh, would be a new campaign. So like, uh, if you create like a campaign for Google AdWords, you're gonna create a new campaign, Facebook, a new campaign, uh, Reddit, a new campaign, so on and so forth. So create a new campaign. So I'm gonna say like Facebook uh, LC campaign. So that stands for landing cube. And then uh, the product that we are going to sell would be this ad group. Uh, so I'm just gonna say just Google. Uh, Facebook ads. Sorry, I keep saying Google. Uh, maybe um, if you actually have a proper naming setup, uh, so you have to set up. Uh, if you set um, your Facebook ads up already, maybe what you can do is that you could put your um, Facebook campaign name under the ad group, so you could refer cross reference the actual ad group to your Facebook campaign. Uh, so publisher Facebook, and then channel social. That's auto select, and then click through URL. So that would be this one right here. I'm selling this one, so that would be this URL here. Uh, and then uh, you could also create an additional ad group if you have uh, want to run additional campaigns uh, on Facebook. But let's just go with one and then create. Okay, so you have your attribution tag. Um, you're gonna remember that you're gonna have this, so you're gonna copy this we will return to that uh, later. Okay, the next step is to actually go into landing cube and create a landing page. So um, sponsor of this video, landing cube, uh, we create uh, Amazon specific uh, landing pages that allows you to like grow your audience by collecting emails and also allows you to add any attribution tracking from different off Amazon channels. Uh, so for this one, we're gonna talk about Facebook specifically. Um, so yeah, I already have a landing cube account. Uh, it's a 21 day free trial. So anyone that actually wants to give it a try, will have like more than enough time for you guys to test its uh, value. Okay, first uh, let's create a new campaign. So uh, let's go with um, promo uh, landing page campaign. So the promo landing page campaign is basically the campaign where uh, we would offer a promo for an email. 
right? So this allows you to collect emails uh, from your off Amazon traffic. And that is the funnel that we are going to create today. Okay, so again, uh, the product that we're selling is the baby mount. It's gonna scrape the data automatically. So that's a great thing about Lightning Cube. You're able to easily create that landing page easily within just that few clicks of a button. So the campaign, I'm just gonna call it again, um, same thing as I did on the Amazon attribution, Facebook landing cube campaign. So right now, uh, landing cube has a default at 30%. So a lot of times I would just leave it at that. Uh, if you actually want to go further, like say 40%, I always say like 40 uh, to 50% uh, would be the sweet spot. Um, anything higher, maybe like 90% might be a little too much. I think like Amazon would not like that nowadays. Uh, but anything that's less than 30, um, it's not material enough for um, the audience to really gravitate and grab that uh, coupon code. So I would like, uh, let's just say you're 40% and you see like, you know, the number uh, changes dynamically the sales page based on the percentage. So 40% and price is 719. Uh, you are going to click on save and continue. Here you can select uh, four layouts. So the four layouts are done with conversion in mind. So the element or place in areas for maximum conversion. So uh, that's why we didn't have like too many choices for our audience uh, because we want to make sure that uh, this landing page converts for our users. Um, so what I like is I actually like this bold one right here. Uh, that's the one I prefer using. Maybe uh, purple is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, so um, you know, once uh, this is set up, uh, Landing Cube basically um, automatically scrapes your photos, uh, your reviews, your bullets. Yeah, so you see what the customer is selling, say, saying these is the actual reviews coming, the five-star reviews coming from your product. And you could also add um, additional uh, FAQs if you so choose. Uh, you could also add a video of your product and add additional descriptions, right? This basically allows you to give an additional unique selling point of your product before sending them to Amazon where they have like a bunch of choices. So this is like what you can do. Okay, so the next thing is that uh, you can use a required email opt-in. You're going to say on. So you're going to, um, this uh, basically a pops up allowing you to collect the email. So obviously uh, that is also a key objective of this campaign, so on. So uh, email provider, you could um, connect to um, multiple email provider. Um, so um, you know, MailChimp uh, active campaign. So um, if you have it, you can set up and basically it could just uh, fire uh, the email into your uh, email list. Uh, so for me, I'm just gonna none provided, but uh, you know, we still collect it. It's gonna be in uh, the back end of landing cube. So I'm gonna put no for now, uh, verify email. Um, I would say yes. Uh, because this allows you to like verify the email to make sure that the email is correct. And then here uh, you have like a follow-up uh, setting. So basically what it does is after the shopper, right, collect the coupon, you can have like a follow-up email uh, after the X amount of days to ask for additional review, right? Again, uh, make sure that uh, your ask is TOS of compliant. Um, and this template, if you could, you could actually just keep it the way it is. Uh, this is a TOS compliant already. And then, uh, if you're doing a Facebook ad, um, you know you want to add the Facebook tracker, uh, the Facebook pixel tracking, right? Because that allows you to, um, you know, if you want to create another campaign after running this campaign, you could also do a remarketing campaign if you have a Facebook pixel tracker. So for me, I um, I do have a Facebook pixel. So how do you actually find your pixel ID? So that's, um, you know, if you have a Facebook account, you should uh, go to events manager. Under events manager, there is like a data source area. So you, if you want to create a new pixel, you're going to do a connect data source and then you go to web, right? Connect and then you can click through the options, right? And then uh, once you click through the options, you will basically create a new pixel for your Facebook account. And once you get that pixel, so I already have a pixel for my other business, Seller Metrics. So what you are gonna do is that you are going to copy the pixel ID, paste it over here, save and continue. Yeah, so the next part is that you're gonna create uh, the promo code, the one-time use for promo code. So let's quickly step through it. Basically, um, this will tell you the steps of how to do it. Not too sure how to like do it. Um, you can actually just go through the step, 12 step process of um, creating your um, uh, one-time use code. So uh, let me step you through that quickly. Um, 
the, you would go to like Seller Central under Advertising, Promotions, and then under Promotion, you're gonna do, um, go to Percentage Off. This uh, tells you how much a percentage off you wanna give the user. So I would say like, again, you gotta match uh, what you say on your landing uh, page. So I'm gonna put 40%. That's what I said in my landing page um, when I uh, set it up uh, in the first uh, step. So um, this applies to, could be select a specific um, ASIN, so, or it could be an entire catalog. So you all, uh, but you uh, very good practice to make sure that you only select it for one ASIN only. So uh, I think, I believe this would be this one right here. Uh, but for um, users that haven't created their uh, product selection, you need to actually create one. Um, budgets, um, yeah, um, how much I was like, you know, $5,000, uh, for example. So I would put like maybe like a couple of months forward uh, whenever you want to add. So I'm going to put uh, Facebook. So you're gonna collect, at this point, you're gonna put like single use. Okay, one redemption per customer, that's about right. And uh, lastly, make sure this is uh, not clicked. I think nowadays, uh, Amazon have this uh, default as disabled. A lot of Amazon sellers got burnt with this in the past, so I think they uh, make sure that this is uh, unclicked now. So you're gonna to go to review, um, submit, and then uh, you're gonna to go to manage your uh, promotions and then promotion status. Um, actually, let me refresh the page here. Manage promotions, manage your promotion, promote status, uh, pending. So that would be this one right here you just created. You can go to manage claim codes, um, tests. I'm just gonna put like whatever name. So like 100, say 100 codes, create. Uh, once it's done, you could download the code, right? And then download the code um, and then save it and then export extract it as as a text file and that is what you're going to upload so go back to the landing page i'm uh, going to go to add promo and that would be the code that we just downloaded so for the next uh, part claim settings so this is where uh, amazon attribution link would be used uh, you're going to go to um, amazon any url so you can use like the amazon uh you're going to use like the amazon attribution link um and uh that would be like this little guy right here, redirect to that. You could also choose to redirect to like different uh, URLs as well. Basically, it'll just like rotate um, between these URLs. Yeah, so that's basically it. And and then you're gonna click to publish. There you go, that is your landing page right here. So if I um, drive off Amazon traffic and then I kind of put my um, email address here, claim it. Yeah, so there you go. Um, you know, um, the coupon is like uh, allow me to claim it right here. So I can click claim, brings me back to the landing page, and then you see like the coupon. So I have the user confirm their email, making sure that you know their email is legit, and then uh, they would get their coupon code uh, right here. All right, and then once they redeem it on Amazon, they would you see like the URL, they would go to the Amazon attribution URL, right? You see like the tag at the end, and then once they use the coupon code and buy. Uh, you would get like that 10% uh, brand referral bonus because it's all set up for you. Okay, now the hard part actually is creating the actual um, campaign using uh, Facebook. Facebook could be really complicated, but uh, you could actually create like a like a 10 hour video just on this particular topic alone. But uh, let's just create a campaign uh, using the Facebook ad console um, quickly. So within your Amazon um, console, you're gonna go to ad manager and in, in, in the ad manager, you're gonna go to create. So what is your objective? I would say uh, traffic, All right, continue. So I'm gonna say this again. Uh, so no, that doesn't apply to any of ours. So uh, I'm gonna click next. Um, yeah, so website, so budget, uh, I would like to like start with five and then scale up uh, as we go. Uh, location, um, yeah, so that would be US for sure because uh, our product is in uh, amazon.com, right? So if you actually uh, run this campaign in say uh, Amazon Canada, then you know your location would be you know Canada. So you can also use like custom audience, like who you want to target. So uh, for me, I could also like remarketing to my website's audience, right? And then uh, the next thing is a placement. So I'm um, not too sure what this is. So let's just go with the default. So it would be link clicks or landing page views. So I'm just gonna say link clicks. Uh, I want the, each clicks to be like less than, I don't know, like 50 cents or something. Uh, it might be too low. I don't know if it's too low, you just like 
um, increase the result. Uh, you can see like the estimated reach if you put 50 cents versus say like $2. Um, actually, it doesn't make no difference. Uh, let's just like $5. Oh, I think it's because like the, the retargeting, right? Is, uh, yeah, the retargeting is like my website. So it's uh, relatively small. Okay. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, I like to like make sure that this is a bit low first and then you're gonna click next. And then you have like a Facebook page. Uh, you can link it to that and also your Instagram page. Uh, I'm using my other business, I sell metrics. Uh, so, uh, and then you're gonna click on your primary tech, uh, basically a brief description of what it's about. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, make sure that uh, you have like, a decent headlines. And then uh, once uh, you get to the website URL, this is where you put your landing cube um, URL, right, right here. So you probably don't want to use the default um, image because the sizing is different. So you definitely want to add your own media to it to make sure the sizing is right uh, for your um, Facebook ad. The last step is uh, basically you're gonna publish uh, this um, and then Bob's your uncle and, and uh, your funnel is set. So to just go over uh, whole, the whole funnel setup, uh, first uh, you're gonna create the brand attribution uh, URL right and then you are going to create a landing page using landing cube and then the landing cube um, allows like the user to claim their coupon code once they claim their coupon code it'll take you to the actual um, product uh, listing page on amazon and then they could use the coupon to redeem their uh, 40 percent off and your facebook ad campaign is basically the key off amazon traffic driver that drives the audience to your landing page so, yeah so um, then uh, the off amazon traffic from the Facebook uh, campaign will be driven to your landing page uh, right here. And then uh, from here, it would uh, drive the traffic to your product display page and the, uh, the off Amazon uh, traffic audience will have your 40% coupon code to make the purchase, right? And at the same time, your landing page will act as like a bit of a squeeze page and squeeze information from your off Amazon traffic. In this case, that would be the email. So that's how the entire funnel would work. And uh, yeah, 28% of all landing page users are do doing this. And I, from what I can tell is a lot of them are still very successful, especially the ones that are able to uh, have an existing audience already. Again, it takes time to kind of build one, but you know, better, better now than never, right? Okay, so uh, this has been the part two of the off Amazon traffic setup. In the previous video, I went into details on Google ad setup, basically the same setup, but with Google ads. So if you actually want to see the video, uh, I will link it below. On the next few uh, videos that I will do, uh, I will also go into detail with two other off Amazon traffic sources that landing cube users are using, which is TikTok and also Reddit ads. And I would uh, show you how to set that up from A to C. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. So to end this off, um, you know, off Amazon traffic is such a uh, you know integral part of Amazon selling in 2023, uh, especially now that a lot of the popular uh, gray hat uh, ranking methods are now made officially black hat. But for sellers that is able to make their off Amazon traffic work, such as in this case Facebook ads, um, you know they're able to build a large email list, these will be the winners on Amazon. And lastly, if you want to grow your business and audience uh, using off Amazon traffic, uh, check out Landing Cube. Uh, we are an Amazon specific landing page builder that allows you to collect emails and also monitor off Amazon traffic, such as Google, Facebook, uh, TikTok ads. Sign up now for a 21 days free trial in the link below. Until the next video drop, happy selling.